everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga koe and thank you for clicking on this video uh, i trust that you guys have been well you guys have been hopeful you guys have been faithful and you guys are doing great just as i'm doing great uh, uh so we are going to do a get ready with me i'm supposed to go to town today and we're going to talk about that why am i going to town <laughs> exactly uh yeah so yeah welcome welcome to this channel if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe of course i didn't wake up like this i've done my eyebrows as i've applied some foundation and i've applied also some concealer so let's just do the rest of my makeup as we talk about the situation on the ground v2 qua ground so guys ignore the mirror and the cute couple on the mirror <laughs> Let's just do the makeup and as we talk about this social isolation thing Yes, social isolation thing, you know when you have a problem with your teeth as pronouncing some things is not really good I'm so glad the government like gazetted that everyone has to wear a mask in Kenya so Because some people really are not really taking this seriously, especially where I live I feel like guys are not taking this uh, issue seriously but uh, I'm so lucky. I believe that uh, lockdown is in Nairobi, Mombasa. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kilifi in Kenya, that is. But uh, some of us who live in Mashambani, we don't have a lockdown. So I'm just taking this rust. I'm obsessed with this rust colored thing, my friends. Like, it's a rust color. Just looks like rust, basically. I love it so, so much. So I'm just going to part i normally part especially the fact that i don't know why i like parting my eyeshadow i don't like um scrubbing it like on the eyes my brush is in ruins but well what can we do we are on lockdown no when nairobi is in lockdown it's as good as the whole country is in lockdown so I'm just going to pat it all over my eyes, just randomly. Yeah? So I, I was, I was saying, I'm so lucky, honestly, to live in Transoya. You know, Transoya doesn't have a lockdown, and what I noticed, uh, honestly, people here are taking things a bit too lightly. That's why sometimes these cases of police brutality. I, okay, let me not mention that. Woo, sorry guys but uh yeah guys are a bit lax although guys have uh definitely started practicing behavior change like guys are washing their hands guys are social distancing yeah like you can see that but guys are still like neglecting their kids their kids are running all over the place so you just know mashambani life like you just see kids randomly hanging out running all over the place they are not at home and all that but for me, I'm just wondering, how are you guys on lockdown coping? I wish I could talk to somebody to just tell me how Nairobi guys are doing. And also the coast guys, like, how the heck are you coping with a lockdown? I'm in essential services and I'm actually glad, although I'm fearing if there's any case, but I'm glad, like, I have to go to work <laughs> somehow, because at least I get to, like, go around with my name tag and all that and yeah how are you guys coping if if the little times like this weekend i've just been indoors like this is easter the easter weekend i've just been indoors and i'm thinking like i'm about to try all the makeup styles that exist in this world i was even about to do those extreme makeups you know those extreme ones the ones that even look like the person tattooed themselves that is what i was about to try so just comment down below like what are you guys doing you know me my hobby is makeup so i'll probably like do a lot of makeup i'm assuming those guys who love cooking are like cooking and stuff those guys who love um eating are eating <laughs> take out like nobody's business So I'm just going to take a lighter shade, a lighter shade of the eyeshadow, of the
of the same kind of like in the same family group here eh? i'm just going to dab it in eh? the lighter shade is backfiring so let me just take like a shimmery shade You people, how do you normally do your makeup? Do you normally use like a small mirror, like those small compact mirrors or those? I don't know, cause I I really find it difficult to use those small. The only thing I can do in those small compact mirrors is maybe my eyebrows, cause you know you want to really see the, those eyebrows, like how you're doing them. But anything else, like I find it weird. You can only see like one part of your eye, like this. I, I find it a bit weird, but I guess people are different in this world, right? Comment below, are you a person, are you the kind of person who uses a small compact, I'm a, like a massive mirror like this one? This is not even massive, like I use big mirrors, like, and as you know, our postal services, <laughs> yeah, they are pretty good. So, I don't add some, uh some things online and they haven't arrived yet of course i don't expect them to arrive because nairobi was put in lockdown but i ordered them i believe in february before kenya reported a case basically and even before the uk was like crazy that was like a, a month and a half oh i'm just taking like a gold color to just highlight the the brows I don't know whether those things will arrive <laughs> it's so sad i think after like two months i'll just ask for a refund honestly <laughs> once kenya is out of a lockdown i'll just have to ask for a refund i feel like i've done this eyebrows too much for a daytime look what do you guys think i think like it's too much I i'm not the kind to actually go so brightly colored i wanted to do a brown then i saw the rust i just noticed like my uh what is it called the lighting was not so good i really need to invest in a good camera by the way and good lighting i'll have to research i'll have to research on which camera i can use and which uh lighting i can use but that's a story for another day we were talking about this social isolation Honestly, I just want this entire fiasco to end. I want it to end, 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 end. To end, we go back to our lives, we go back to normal because I'm in upcountry and I'm really seeing the way um, a lot of people honestly earn a living day to day. Like that's how they earn their living. Day to day by leaving the house, going to earn a living. So you can just imagine. So I normally take this brush and also blend out. I'm just addicted to blending out eyeshadow. I don't know how to do this cut crease thing. I think I'm going to try it in another video. The cut crease where you see like a whole different color is like on the lower eyelid. And then another whole different color is on the And you can see a sharp line separating the two. So I'll have to learn how to do that. You know, when you stay up country, right? In fact, I don't know. I rarely see my friends, Kabisa. I rarely, because I don't live in Kitale, like the capital of Transoya. I live in Mashambani. Like, seriously, we don't have roads. We have uh, Maram roads. They are mud roads. They're not even Maram roads. They are mud roads. Right now is when the government is building roads. And this place has always been like that. Like, seriously. So the government is currently building roads so i never see my friends per se because i go to town i used to go to kitale about twice in a week nowadays i go about after the lockdown the, the all this social distancing i've gone i think about once every fortnight 
so it's the kind of place when it rains you cannot really go <laughs> somewhere although me i live on the main road the one they are building i was lucky enough like to live near the main road the one going to uganda so uh, they are building it they are in the process of repairing part of uh, where the tarmac ended they are repairing that and then they are building all the rest of the way to uganda where there was no tarmac so you can just imagine how i've been living it's like i've been social isolating all this time but social isolation is not something that um it's supposed to affect your mental health i think I, pu I put up a video though the audio was really really bad that's the time i used to film at night because i was coming from work late and then i had to take care of my son uh because my my nanny is a day scholar so i had to take care of my son and stuff and then i had only time at night and i don't really have those rim lights for filming so i did talk about that in another video about how you can like stay sane like what personally i've been staying in mashambani for long and i don't have a massive family i've just realized today that i've used up this mascara <laughs> i really need to get another one guys comment down below what are you guys doing during your social isolation i'm personally just waking up or uh, like for example during this sister i was just waking up uh what uh, cooking cleaning the house eating and then uh filming because i love makeup love, love love makeup what have you guys been doing what have you been up to i'm just imagining like how uh guys is it a lockdown you know in nairobi is it a lockdown lockdown like for no no nothing comes in or are you also allowed like to go to town i really have to talk call someone from nairobi they tell me are guys allowed to go to town or is it like a lockdown like nobody on the streets no nothing i'm just curious but you know what we'll make it as far as i'm concerned we'll make it like was uh pandemics have occurred in history as we know and this one is not any better of course people have lost their lives that is just the saddest saddest part and i just want to add you especially the youth you guys take care of your old people make sure that you're self-isolating specifically for them like for example if you have uh your mom who is over 60 years or over 50 years just self-isolate yourself for them like if you especially if you're living in the same household self isolate yourself for them because you know that they are vulnerable age groups although i've realized that the pattern in kenya is completely random but i'm 100 percent sure that even if it's completely random uh definitely they still the vulnerable groups like take care of those i think the reason for that random pattern is because most of our aged populations live in up country not in the towns and and like maybe the developed world where like the aged populations are integrated into the the towns i think that's the main reason let me not forget that i'm supposed to go somewhere so i wanted to try a new lipstick look there's something i've had in it that asians do um i believe east asians they create something called um a gradient lip eh? is it called a gradient so for a nombra lip they normally start with like the outer part is dark and then the inner part is light like a dark shade goes outside and then a, a light shade goes inside but now for a gradient lip it's the opposite like a, a light shade is on the outside and then a dark shade is on the inside i wonder how i look but anyway <laughs> we'll just try it we'll just try it so i have uh, it's i'm going to do just some brownish red yeah some brownish reds we see how it will look so the, i'll put the the lighter shade outside and then the darker shade inside we see so i'll just put the lighter shade I mean to do the darker shade mm. 
looks crazy it looks crazy but maybe it's because of the colors i've used but I, okay maybe they're a bit neutral colors so it doesn't look that crazy but i'm assuming if you use bright colors like red or pink it will look crazy but it does work for them i don't know if you can see honestly in my opinion it looks really crazy but yeah it's always good to try out things so i'm going to take a pressed powder or a compact powder basically and just slather it on these brushes are wet i wonder how it will work but just going to dup, 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 remove it and dab 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 i always feel like dabbing your face is better than swiping always like minimize the movement on your face and i'm going to do like a, a video watch out i'm going to do a video on 10 common five common things we normally do that i'm going to talk about the things that are aging our skin the things we are doing every single day without knowing that are aging our skin really fast so watch out for that video guys it's very informative by the there are just a few things I learned at a very young age. They are not common things like that people talk about, but they are common things that we do, if you know what I mean. And sorry guys if you've been seeing a fly flying around here. And my neighbors, all my neighbors, I live in Mashambani, all my neighbors have cows. Like all of them. Literally like cow there, cow there, cow there. So um you know where there are cows, there tends to be flies. I don't know why. So, but I do have mechanisms of getting rid of them. Don't worry. This one is going to be gotten rid of with immediate effect. I don't know whether this camera, you can see the makeup. So my son is calling me. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Let me attend to him and then I will go to town. Yeah. Bye. Love you. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you.